Morning, peeps. Coach Jay from the car. Wanted to talk about the uh, fight over the weekend. Adam Kalnacki, Robert Hellenius. Um, from the perspective of a trainer, I wanted to talk about Kalnacki's performance. Um, I'm, as, a, as a trainer, I've always looked at Kalnacki as a project. You know, when you think about his style, um, he's very uh, one dimensional. He fights with, you know, a lot of pressure, throws a lot of punches, comes forward, um, and really has not much of a defensive strategy. Doesn't move his head a ton, um, and uh, can be square a lot of times. So these would be all things I would definitely be wanting to work on in the gym with them if I'm a, if I'm his trainer, because uh, we can't have liabil liabilities like that in the ring. Um, especially long term, you know, I don't want a guy like him, you know, just taking punches to the head and then 20 years from now he can't even spell his own name, you know. I think these are problems that I have with fighters like him. You know, it's like I don't want guys like him taking a lot of, a lot of hits and, you know, you're not going to change a guy like that overnight, but I think the first step for me would be adding some defense to his game. Like, you definitely got to, you know, he has, the thing about him, which is good, is that he has a motor, right? So you already know that he can, uh, he can throw punches, be active, and that's gonna help with defense, right? Because if you add a little bit of defense to that, more than likely you're gonna be able to avoid punches because you're setting the pace. He's already doing that. So it's not an issue with the offense, right? It's just, in return, he's taking those punches. So he can set the pace, use his jab, you know, create and create situations because he's dictating what's happening with his offense, and then just avoid punches. Move his head, change angles. You know, there's not a lot of footwork in his game. You know, we add some head movement and some footwork, and he can be a, a much, much better fighter. As good as he is, I think, he can be even that much better if you just add those pieces to the game because you know with the kind of offense he already is offensive fighter he already is you know there isn't much that you need to work on on that side of the coin you always want to work on things but you can you can kind of leave that off the table for now more it's more about getting hit back that that you really want to pay close attention to um in the fight, in this fight against Hellenius, he was he was square a lot of the times because I think when you throw a lot of punches, particularly the one two, you tend to throw your you know his two is going to be his right hand because he's an orthodox fighter. His two is going to be his right hand, so he starts to bring that shoulder forward. And as you bring that shoulder forward, you're bringing your foot with you, and a lot of and that you'll see that a lot with fighters who aren't who aren't cognizant of their footwork, is they'll start to bring that back foot forward and they'll start to be square. And then when you get hit with a return shot while you're throwing your one, two, or right after, it's not that the shot hurt you necessarily, it's just that you're, you're off balance because your feet aren't, you don't have that one foot behind you to keep, the, keep your body weight from throwing you backwards. You have to keep that in mind, because I've seen that a few times I'm like, yeah, he's throwing a one, two, and his head is popping back, and he could barely keep his balance because his feet are, are completely square at times, you know? So you definitely got to work on the footwork. Keep your balance. You know, you want to keep your one, two. You want that two. You want that back foot staying right behind you. Keep it behind you. Keep your weight under it. And so that if anything comes back, you can weather that, you know what I'm saying? You can weather that and have your shock absorbers, quote unquote, right? To keep you from falling backwards so um, that's definitely something you want to keep in mind you know i will work on the footwork heavy with them right um other than that i think um you know head movement is definitely key you want that head moving you know um you throw your one two you slide off the line keep your head out the way and you keep going you know sorry about that a lot I'm, I'm, I'm in traffic right now so people are wilding rush hour so um yeah, keep your head off the line, get some head movement and footwork, and um, I think he'll be back. He's a good fighter. He's got a motor, um, but he got tight. He, he can't take them hits, man. You can't take hits like that. 
it's too much. Too many, too many shots to the head. I worry, I worry about fighters, man. You know, I'm always gonna come at this, this YouTube thing with the perspective of a coach. You know, I, I hate when guys take too, too many punches. You know, you can't, you can't have guys just going at there, rock them, sock them robots. Like this is boxing. You know, go out there and box. Show some skills. You know, make. You know, it could be an entertaining fight. Like you know, we don't want this. You know, blood sport that the fans want to see you know let's cater let's cater to boxing a little bit more you're going to get the excitement you know with, with the strategy and everything don't make it a boring fight and do nothing but don't just take hits for no reason you know we want we want these fighters to walk away from the sport making a lot of money entertaining us but also having all their faculties and still be able to uh you know, enjoy their legend status or the glories of their fight, you know, their wins, you know, 20, 30 years from now and with their kids and their families, you know? So um, that's my piece. Talk to you on the next one. Let me know what you think. I'm out.